Do you feel like you're stuck or find yourself attracting the same type of relationships and negative experiences or just not manifesting what you want in life? Welcome to Heal Your Story. I'm your host, Heidi Dallaire. Here we discuss all things life, love, relationships, the relationship with yourself, and the stories we tell about ourselves and others. I help people get out of their busy heads and get back in touch with their heart space to learn self-love and help heal their story. I'm a heart space and relational coach, a holistic health practitioner, and author at HeidiDelaire.com and LoveWideOpen.com. Let's go hold some heart space together. Hey, hello. Welcome to Heal Your Story podcast, episode 155, The Power of Self-Empowerment, Unleashing Your Full Potential. I'm going to be going over six steps today to embark on the path of self-empowerment and to cultivate self-esteem and initiative and other personal empowerment traits. But first, we're going to do a quick sponsor break and be right back. This episode is brought to you by the Weather Channel app. Did you know the app can help you forecast more than just the weather? With allergy tracking and flu risk mapping. So you know when to stay inside and load up on podcast, As well as air quality and UV indexing. So you know when to get outside, load up on sunscreen and podcast. Forecast more of what you love with the Weather Channel app. As an empowerment coach, I believe that self-empowerment is a transformative journey of intentional and conscious efforts to take full responsibility and reasonable control of one's life. It goes beyond mere positive thinking. It's a skill that requires deep self-awareness and understanding of both your strengths and your weaknesses, as well as the external circumstances that surround us. When we cultivate self-confidence and recognize our competency, we can truly harness the power of self-empowerment. Self-empowered individuals, they emanate from a place of unwavering self-worth. They possess the ability to identify the areas of their lives that require change in order to achieve their goals. These remarkable individuals refuse to wait idly for circumstances to improve. Instead, they set realistic goals and take decisive action. For instance, and this is only an example, if they desire a transformation in the governance system, they do not simply hope for change. They organize communities, establish local aid networks, educate the public, and explore alternative forms of leadership and support. Embarking on the path of self-empowerment, it's an ongoing practice. You know, this is something I've been working on for years, and many of my friends and colleagues, it's, it's, a, it's a practice. And I'd like to share with you some essential steps that can help you cultivate self-esteem, initiative, and other personal empowerment traits. So here we go. Number one, embrace your abilities. Begin by embarking on a journey of self-discovery where you take a deep dive in a recognize and embracing your unique abilities. It's essential to approach this process with openness, curiosity, and self-compassion. Take an honest inventory of your strengths, your talents, and your skills. What are you naturally good at? What activities or tasks bring you joy and fulfillment? Reflect on moments in your life when you felt confident and accomplished. These experiences can provide valuable insights into your innate abilities. Simultaneously, acknowledge your weaknesses and areas for improvement. This is not meant to discourage you, but to provide a realistic understanding of where you can grow and develop. By embracing your weaknesses, you open up opportunities for personal growth and the chance to turn them into strengths. Like right now, I'm in the midst of um, my self-healing journey program. I am so proud of my students for tackling these things and wanting personal growth and embracing their weaknesses and enhancing their strengths. It's, it's truly inspiring to me. Self-reflection and self-assessment are powerful tools in understanding your abilities. Consider seeking feedback from trusted friends, mentors, or coaches who can provide 
valuable perspective and insights, right? Because we only have one tunnel vision of our life. And with self-awareness, we become, you know, that, that vision gets broader. But when you ask for outside opinions, you, you get a bigger scope of like where you're at and how people see you. They may see strengths in you that you might not even recognize. So once you've gained clarity on your abilities, reflect on how they can contribute to your goals and aspirations. How can your unique strengths be harnessed to overcome challenges and achieve success? By aligning your goals with your abilities, you set yourself up for a more fulfilling and empowered journey. Remember that embracing your abilities, it's an ongoing process. As you continue to learn and grow, new talents and strengths may emerge. Stay open to self-discovery and celebrate the progress you make along the way. By recognizing and embracing your abilities, you lay a solid foundation for self-empowerment and personal transformation. So the second step is expand your knowledge and skills. Once you've taken your inventory of yourself and your circumstances, it's then important to recognize the areas where you can further develop and expand your knowledge and skills. This step involves a commitment to continuous learning and personal growth. And I often say it takes a very bold commitment. Start by identifying specific areas or subjects that you're interested in or feel would benefit your personal or professional life. It could be acquiring expertise in a particular field, learning a new language, honing your communication skills, or gaining a deeper understanding of a specific topic or industry. Seek out resources that can help you enhance your knowledge. These could include enrolling in courses, attending workshops or seminars, reading books and articles, or engaging in online learning platforms. Take advantage of the wealth of information available and be proactive in seeking out opportunities for growth. Now, if you're a first-time listener to the Heal Your Story podcast, well, there's 154 other episodes that you can listen to and gain more insight. Additionally, consider reaching out to mentors or experts in the areas you wish to develop. Their guidance and insights can provide valuable direction and accelerate your learning process. Networking with individuals who share similar interests can also open doors to new opportunities for growth and collaboration. Embracing new knowledge and skills often involves stepping way outside of your comfort zone. So be willing to challenge yourself and embrace the discomfort that comes with learning and trying new things. We're never great at everything when we first start, right? But then with practice, we get better. Remember that growth happens outside of your comfort zone and each state step you take towards expanding your knowledge and skills brings you closer to self-empowerment. By actively expanding your knowledge and skills, you not only empower yourself with valuable tools, but also develop a growth mindset that propels you forward in your journey of self-empowerment. It allows you to adapt to changing circumstances embrace new opportunities, and approach challenges with confidence and resilience. Step number three, set goals. Once you've gained a clearer understanding of your abilities and have expanded your knowledge and skills, it's now time to set goals that align with your aspirations and desires. When was the last time you did that? Goal setting provides a roadmap for your self-empowerment journey. It helps you stay focused, motivated, and on track. So begin by asking yourself what you truly want to achieve in the different areas of your life, whether it's in your career, relationships, personal growth, health, or any other important aspect. Take the time to visualize your ideal outcomes and envision the future you desire. How often do you actually put it in your mind's eye what it is you desire? When setting goals, it's crucial to make them specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Those are SMART goals. So specific goals clearly define what you want to achieve, while measurable goals allow you to track your progress. Break down your goals into actionable steps and milestones. Each step should move you closer to your larger goal. Right? You can't go from little step to gigantic step because you'll stop. You'll quit. So this breakdown helps to create a sense of progress and prevents overwhelm. 
Celebrate the completion of each little milestone as it brings you closer to your ultimate goal and reinforces your self-empowerment journey. Now, you're going to need to be flexible along the way and open to adjusting your goals if necessary. Because you know what? As we evolve, our goals may change and our priorities and aspirations may change. So always have room for reassessment and and change in your goal setting. So remember, self-empowerment is not solely about the end result but also about the growth and learning that occur along the way. Embrace the journey. Celebrate the small wins and achievements. By setting meaningful goals and taking consistent action, you empower yourself to create the life you desire and deserve. Moving on to step number four, this is develop a strong community. Who couldn't use some good community at this point in life, right? Cultivating a supportive and empowering community is a crucial aspect of your self-empowerment journey. Surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals who share your values, your aspirations, and desire for personal growth can have a profound impact on your confidence and ability to take control of your life. How many of you, and I'm sure someone's going to raise their hand, are not necessarily surrounded by positive people and that you find yourself not wanting to set goals, not wanting to move forward because the people who are around you are the naysayers and the, the negative Nellies and the ne- you'll never accomplish it. accomplish it so you don't even try. So joining communities of groups that align with your interests, passion, or goals can provide a sense of belonging and support. Collaboration is a powerful tool in self-empowerment. Seek opportunities to collaborate with others who share your vision or have complementary skills. Now, be mindful of the relationships you maintain. Surround yourself with individuals who genuinely appreciate and celebrate your growth rather than those who may be envious or unsupportive. Distance yourself from toxic relationships that drain your energy and hinder your progress. Your self empowerment journey requires a nurturing and empowering environment. Step number five is be assertive. Cultivating assertiveness is a key component of self-empowerment. It involves effectively communicating your thoughts, your needs, and boundaries while respecting the thoughts and boundaries of others. By practicing assertiveness, you can protect your well-being express yourself authentically, and and take control of your life. Being assertive begins with gaining a clear understanding of your own values, your own desires, and limits. When was the last time you actually made a list of what your values are? Do you even know what your values are? Take the time to reflect on what is important to you and what you need to thrive in life. This self-awareness forms the foundation for assertive communication. So by learning effective communication techniques, such as active listening and using I statements to express your feelings and practicing empathy to yourself and to others and to understand others' perspectives, these skills can enhance your ability to express yourself assertively while maintaining positive relationships. Now, another essential aspect of assertiveness is self-care. Prioritize your well-being and ensure that you're not overextending yourself to compromise your needs to please others. Practice self-compassion. Remember that it's okay to prioritize your own happiness and fulfillment. So this is where we move into step six, which is practice self-care. Self-care is an essential aspect of self-empowerment as it involves prioritizing your physical, mental, and emotional well-being. It's about nurturing and nourishing yourself, both physically, mentally, to maintain a healthy, balanced life. Good self-care allows your nervous system to reset instead of always staying on buzz. Self-care can encompass various activities and practices that promote self-love, self-compassion, and just overall well-being. It recognizes honoring your needs, your boundaries, and your limitations. 
by practicing self-care, you replenish your energy. You regulate your nervous system. You reduce stress. You reduce anxiety. You create a positive mindset. These are crucial for self-empowerment. Prioritize the activities that make you feel good. Eating nutritious foods, getting enough sleep, engaging in exercise, practicing yoga if you want, going for walks in nature, and participating in activities that bring you joy. Art, writing, going to the playground. What is it that brings you joy? Mental and emotional self-care are equally important. Now, self-care also involves setting healthy boundaries and learning to say no when necessary. No one's going to like get offended. The people who care about you and support you will not be offended if you say no. They will understand that you were taking care of yourself because these positive people will also do the same. While self-improvement and personal growth are valuable, it's essential to remember that you are enough just as you are. Embrace self-acceptance and practice self-love, recognizing that self-empowerment is not solely dependent on external achievements or results. Value and appreciate yourself for who you are in this present moment. So let's wrap this up. Self-empowerment, it's, it's a transformative journey. It requires really intentional and conscious effort. By cultivating self-confidence, recognizing your abilities, and taking responsibility for your own life, you can embark on a path of personal growth and fulfillment. Through self-awareness, goal setting, and the development of a strong community, you can harness your inner growth and create positive change in your life. By practicing assertiveness and prioritizing self-care, you then nurture your well-being and maintain a balanced and empowered mindset. Remember, self-empowerment is a continuous practice. Each step you take brings you closer to living a life of purpose, authenticity, and success. So embrace your inherent power. Believe in yourself and embark on the empowering journey of self-discovery and personal transformation. If you find yourself wanting to take the challenge, becoming self-empowered and building that self-esteem and creating a new life, a better life, one of positivity and health, emotional, physical, mental, reach out, book a Heal Your Story strategy session to discuss how I can help you get there. The link will be in the show notes. I also invite you to my Heal Your Story community. It is a private Facebook group for anyone who wishes to form a community of like-minded souls. That link will also be in the show notes. I'm sending you lots of love, lots of encouragement to take the bull by the horns and say yes to your life. Bye for now. Thank you for listening to another episode of Heal Your Story. Please subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. You can find me, my coaching services, my book, or book a Heal Your Story strategy session at HeidiDelaire.com. For other self-development articles, go to LoveWideOpen.com. And you can also follow me at Heidi Delaire or Love Wide Open on all social media channels. Thanks so much. Sending lots of love.